Mom, will you come up with us, please, just for a minute? We just want to honor the first mother of New Beginnings, our mom, Pastor Tiz. The first mother. And, um, you know, that song that the worship team sang, Mama, I can't even say it. <laughs> but, you know, I'm, we have been so blessed to have a mom that has always prayed for us, prayed with us and prayed for us. And more than anything, uh, I want to honor our mom for that and all of you moms today. I see so many beautiful moms as I walk through the halls of New Beginnings, and I'm so proud to be among you. And I was thinking this morning of the day that we took our boys home from the hospital when they were born. And I was laughing, thinking about how we drove out of the parking lot and Brandon's driving. We got the twins in their little seats and they're five and a half pounds and mom's in the third row and going over the bumps in the parking lot. And we were like, I'm not kidding about that fast. Just thinking this is a whole new world. But I remember walking out into the sunshine that day and it was like a light had been turned on for me and literally I felt like my eyes were open for the first time and I felt like I had woken up to become a part of this group like I was a part of a club it was something that just clicked inside of me and when I look back I realized that that was God anointing me to do what he had called me to do which is be a mom and uh I had never thought about it until that day. I walked out and, and I felt like my whole life was changed, and it was, and it was because I was suddenly a part of something bigger than just myself. I was a part of the future. It was no longer just about me, but it was about raising my children, these souls that God has entrusted me to be their mom, to be their caretaker, to raise them up. And sometimes moms, you know, I hear us say, people go, oh, well, what do you do? And I hear moms say, and I've said it myself, oh, I'm just a mom. But there is nothing in my mind that is more precious and more important than the work that we do as parents. I don't mean that as a cliche. I know that from the bottom of my heart. And I look around, I see we have these moms that are functioning in different anointings. I think of you know, my friend JC, who I'm sure is out in the audience today, and she's out in the corporate world. She is taking care of business like a boss. And she's raising two-year-old Maxwell, raising him up to be a man of God from the Word of God. I think about Lacey, who is raising three of the finest boys I will ever know. And I know she lost her mom. And today is a bittersweet day for her, but I see her functioning in such a beautiful anointing. And I see Tanya Megacy raising three beautiful girls and investing her whole life into shaping these girls. And I see them becoming these beautiful young women, beautiful young women that love the Lord. And I'm so proud of you moms today. I'm so proud of you functioning in your anointing and giving your all because you're shaping the future of your communities. You're shaping the future of new beginnings and honestly, the future of America. And I don't mean that as a cliche, but you're so beautiful. And today, I just want you to know that you're recognized and we honor you for the work that you do. Amen. Have a beautiful Mother's Day. We love you so much. And we love you, Mom. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, and this is a special gift from the church for you, Mom. I'm on. Give all the mothers and grandmothers a great big clap offering. Amen. 